Emergency, emergency plan red. Gorgon alert. Evacuate immediately. This is a red alert. It's an emergency. It's an emergency, but nobody panic, please. Nobody panic. Uh, uh, Benzel, you're looking awfully green. You can't go green on me now. You all I want to do, relax, relax. Remember, children and quasi norms first. That's it, keep moving, keep moving. Dink, Dink, what are you doing? What do you mean you don't know? Will you two stop doing that? What do you mean you don't know? Oh, well, you could organize the passenger list. You could hand out weapons. Do something. This is an evacuation, not a picnic. Go, oh, commanders. Commanders, you're late. You're late. We have a very important meeting with the head. Please be careful with your tails and tentacles, and multipens must bring an extra pair of socks. Come in, commanders, for a message from the head. Commanders, I appear before you in the midst of the greatest crisis in the 211-year history of the United Galaxy. Our arch enemies, the dreaded Gorgons, have developed a weapon so powerful, I can't believe it. At this very moment, the High Gorgon himself is speeding towards our beloved Perma-1. Commander Walker, you will evacuate our leading scientists. Commander Estro, you will evacuate our top secret files. And Quark, you will seek out and destroy the Gorgon Doomsday Ship down to your last breath of life. The galaxy ad infinitum. Palindrome, we've got to talk to you. Oh, sure, there's nothing going on. I've got plenty of time. Should we talk about poetry or philosophy or how about the history of rust? <laughs> Palindrome. Wouldn't well, that make an interesting conversation? Say, don't you have a mission or something? I'm supposed to seek out and destroy the High Gorgon's doomsday ship. Well, that should keep you busy. Palindrome, it's huge, it's fast, it's powerful. What am I supposed to do, ram it with my souped-up garbage ship? Oh, you're always asking for a good mission, Quark. This is too good. Nobody could do this and survive. Nah, nobody but you, Quark. You've got one of the finest crews in the fleet, don't you? Well, they're good with garbage, but what can an emotional transmute, a homemade robot, a Betty, her clone, and a plant do against the Gorgon's doomsday ship? You're not questioning the head, Quark. Of course not. The head did not become the head by luck, you know. I know that. You may not realize it, but the head always has something in mind, no matter what he does. For you to question him, I'm, I'm not time questioning. Time. I'm not questioning. No, wait, yes, I am questioning. That's exactly what I'm doing. The head is ordering me to my death. Quark, Quark, the head has commanders pleading, begging for the chance to go on this mission. Then why doesn't he let them go? Come with me. The head doesn't respect commanders who beg. The head likes commanders who ask questions. But why me? That's why he likes you. You ask those questions. Palindrome, do I have to? Your beautiful quark, keep asking those questions. Palindrome. Quark, the head himself has ordered me to give you the United Galaxy's greatest weapon. He has? Yes. And here it is, Quark. The source. The source. So this is the source. Oh, well, we don't want you using it to wash your portholes. We save it for the biggies, for clashes between good and evil. All my life, I've heard tales of its great power. The source can do anything. In fact, the last time the head ordered the source used was during the Quasar Rebellion. That was 200 years ago. You mean, this is the first time That's since... That's right. You are the first man in 200 years to be given the source. That's quite an honor. I'm going to make a prediction. With the help of the source, you, Adam Quark, are going to defeat the High Gorgon and save the entire galaxy. That would look good on my record. And as an added incentive, if you make it back, next week lunch is on me. If I make it back. All right, dinner. Starnote. This is Commander Adam Quark. Up until this moment, the most action I've seen was caused by a tear in a space garbage baggie. Now the head has given me the source and ordered me out to destroy the High Gorgon's doomsday ship. The fate of the entire United Galaxy rides with me. From garbage to Gorgons, space is a very unpredictable job. Betty? Yes? Take it up three points. Uh, three, Commander. Betty? Yes? Any contact with the Gorgons? None yet, Commander.
service, Commander. What makes you say that, Ficus? I've noticed that you animals have a tendency under high pressure to activate particular glands, producing a moisture and a very peculiar odor. You're speaking of sweat, Ficus? I have heard that terminology used, Commander. And as a plant, you do not sweat, do not feel nervous? Quite the contrary, Commander. We plants never feel pressure. The worst we do is wilt. Ah, but as a plant, you can never love. Yes, but as an animal, you must endure the pain of love. That's true, Ficus. But the pain of love is what makes love so endearing. Well, following your logic, Commander, the pain of a toothache makes a toothache endearing. The more painful, the more endearing. <laughs> Star note, I've just argued over the concept of love with a plant and lost. Uh, sir, the dreaded Gorgons are approaching the planet Sparta. The Spartans are the fiercest and most savage warriors in the galaxy. If the Gorgons can be stopped, it will be in this battle. Master of the galaxy. Hail, High Gorgon, highest leader, almighty seer of depth and perception. People of Sparta, this is the High Gorgon. I demand your unconditional surrender. You shall be treated with compassion, honor, and patience. You have 20 seconds before I blow you out of the galaxy. This is Pyrrhos, leader of the Spartans. We are conquerors. We do not capitulate to anyone. You have 10 seconds. Your threats don't frighten us, High Gorgon. Force is more powerful than you have tried. I suggest you take a closer look at my spaceship. Your ship? We see no spaceship. All we see is a large maroon planet. That is my spaceship. Just give us a few minutes to move our things out of the palace. <laughs> I don't believe it. So much for the fierce Spartans. Didn't even fire a shot. I have known the Spartans to plunder entire planets for the sheer fun of it. So much for fun. Our only hope now is Quark. Quark. <laughs> Gene, I'd like to hold it to speed. Can the reactor handle this? Sure, Commander. I'll get this thing so hopped up, we'll go through time barriers. Good. Commander, this mission is no place for cowards. Please take me home. Will you quit whining? Andy's scared to death. He's driving me space bonkers. Listen, spacehead, I am a machine. I will live forever unless this crew gets me destroyed. Andy in space, it's all for one and one for all. Catchy phrase, but, um... We're not gonna get destroyed. We've got the source, and the source is power. I'd rather have a gun. Hey, Commander, do you hate those crunchy Gorgons like I do, huh? They aren't the dreaded Gorgons for nothing, Gene. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I dream about them. You ever dream about them, Commander? Those grungy, cruddy, lousy Gorgons, huh? <laughs> I gotta go, Gene. Hey, listen, Commander. After we crush the Gorgons with a source, we crush all the little Gorgon friends, huh? Yeah, we get the Blotons, the Pod people, then we're gonna get the Durhams. Maybe we'll get the Wood people, too. Boy, I want to get the slime people next, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander. I can't get into this mission. Star note. Having a full set of male and female chromosomes makes Gene a very unusual person. Gene, this is the best mission we've ever had. Honest. I'm sorry, girls, I, I know you like action, but I, myself, I, I prefer the arts. We'll talk about this later, Gene. Right now, we're ready to release the source. The mission, you, you, you know, defeating the Gorgons and saving the galaxy. Now is the time to turn back. Ficus, you sense anything? I sense a heightening of the Salon rays. 
I'm also getting a reading on the alcocythidae. Ficus. It appears to be modulating on its scooter axis. Ficus, for the sake of those of us who are not raised in fertilizer, could you explain that in English? In other words, Commander, the energy in this room is going up. I am the source. Source? Where are you? I am everywhere and everything. And as everything, how do we use you to defeat the dreaded Gorgons? You must learn to believe in me. Your belief must be complete and genuine. Do you believe, Adam Quark? Yes. Yes, I believe. Remove the gyro bearing from the robot's autolibrum system. I am filled with anger. Your hands are cold. The rest of you set your gamma guns on the equivalent of a pinprick. When I give the word, I want you to fire at the commander until I give you the signal to stop. Uh, uh let me just get this uh, straight. Uh, you, uh, you want them to fire their guns at me? Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to be doing? You will block the shots with the ball bearing. This I've got to see. If you believe in me, if you really believe, not a single laser will reach your body. Not one? Not a nick. You may fire at will. Nay. <laughs> fire at will. <laughs> That's enough. Ficus, you enjoyed that. I can assure you, Commander, I was only obeying orders. If you'll recall, the source said to continue fire until the source itself gave the signal to stop. Source, why did you not block one single shot? You didn't really believe. I was doing something. This time you must believe in me even as the laser snip at your body. Commence firing. One more time. <laughs> Oh, oh. Believe in me. Release yourself into my power. Trust in me. That's enough. You actually blocked our shots. You believe. You will learn quickly about me now. And we can conquer the Gorgon's doomsday ship? If you believe in me, you can do anything. Commander, I'm picking up the Gorgon ship. Sir, we are past the point of no return. Look at the size of that ship. Oh, my galaxy. Starnote, be calm, Quark. Be calm. sensory contactors? Probably not, as they are very large and we are very small. We will be in a matter of moments, however. Oh, gut. Andy, don't swear. Go directly to Gorgon's ship. I know where you will be able to board safely. It's on the seventh quadrant, close to the power center. Betty's? Yes? Head for the seventh quadrant. You are approaching a Gorgon vessel. Identify yourself. Don't answer it. Up speed, four points. I repeat, you are approaching a Gorgon vessel. You must identify yourself. Engage sensory deflectors. Deflectors engaged. Good. And in we go. Well, I hope no one gets hurt. Nothing to worry about, Gene. The source is with us. Nothing can stop us now. That's a very big ship. Fast, too. What are you saying? I have no idea. The high Gorgon's awfully tough. I'm not sure now. What do you mean you're not sure now? I believed in you completely. Well, it's been 200 years since I was last out. You get rusty. Things change. Maybe it was the fourth quadrant. Oh, rot. Don't swear, Commander. I'm the source. I am the source. 
Trust me. Trust me. Attention. Alien vessel boarding. Sub-level three. We've landed successfully inside the Gorgon ship. Oh, this has never happened to me before. We're in the seventh quadrant, and the power center is near the fourth quadrant? Is that what you're telling me? Well, are you mad? Don't be mad. Commander, it would appear two Gorgon guards are about to board the ship. We'll go out through the garbage hatch. Everyone set your garbage to stun. Commander Quark. Commander Quark. Commander, listen. Don't freeze them in their tracks, huh? Go on, get out. Andy, you stay here and stall the guards. I'm no good at stalling. I'm good at escaping. You can do it, Andy. We're depending on you. The galaxy is depending on you. I wish to submit my resignation. Andy, that's an order. I am in a pickle. 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 I am in a... Hello. Where's the crew? I run this ship myself. I am your friendly garbage man. And you pick up Gorgon garbage. There is not good or bad garbage. There is only garbage. And you run this ship yourself. It's a snap. Let's see you work a few of these controls. Try the modulator. Modulator. No problem. We'll take him to the high Gorgon. I have a better idea. Let's let me go. Ask me if I'm happy. <laughs> Is the source dangerous? Only if it's on your side. All my life, I've dreamt about fighting the Gorgons. What about you? Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the wall. Oh. Of course I'm talking to you. Oh, I see the problem. This is very interesting. You did not use my given name, Ficus, thereby causing me to wonder if you were, in fact, addressing me. Ficus, I'm trying to ask you a question. What is your question? The next time your garbage isn't collected, think about this day. Almighty Gorgon, the United Galaxy garbage ship has boarded us. This robot claims to be running the ship itself. I heard a lot of good things about you. Is the source here on my ship? My name is Andy. My star code is 765736. I haven't destroyed. We've had a misunderstanding. The source is here. Who controls his power? You're asking me to squeal on a man who built me with his own two hands. A man who gave up his lunches in order to get my very parts. <laughs> a man named Commander Adam Quark. The garbage man. Six feet tall, hair dark. I have a picture of him on this ship, if you'd like. Bring me Quark. And, oh, destroy the robot. Destroy? Do you know who you're dealing with? Yes, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with a cowardly android who would lie, cheat, grovel to save his own miserable, pathetic little existence. Well, so long as you know. <laughs> I just want you to know that she's the clone. That's not true. She's been the clone all along. Not now, Betty. Ficus, left or right? I know. Ficus? I know, Quark. Trust me. Will you be quiet? <laughs> Don't you use that tone with me. I am the source. I cannot be certain, Commander. I will go to the left. How does that sound? You don't need my help, Commander Know-it-all. <laughs> I knew about them. I could have told you about those guards. Look in here! What about Gene? We'll have to get him later. Or 
gods. Pilot down, Commander Quark. I am nothing but a worthless coward, the scum of the universe, the lowest form of life. I deserve to be destroyed. Feel free to jump in and disagree anytime. <laughs> Quark! Shh. Quark, give me another chance. I've been in the orb for 200 years. Nobody's perfect. You don't expect me to sleep for 200 years and then get up and dance, do you? Shh. Ficus, how much further? Commander, like yourself, I've never been on this ship. I can only assume. I know. No, oh, I know this ship like the back of my hand. These corridors are like a maze. A man could be lost in here for years. Trust me, trust me. Right. You won't regret this call. We'll see. Betty's. Listen carefully. When we go to the power center, use this telecommunicator to contact Perma-1. Tell Palindrome not to surrender. Then try and find Gene, go back to the ship. If I'm not back in two hours, take off. But what about you? Forget about me. You were the strongest man I ever knew. And brave. He was not like a man. He was like a god. Uh, he was Betty? better than a god. I'm going to miss him so much. Uh, Betty, will you, will you stop talking about me in the past tense? I'm not dead yet. He never will be in my heart. <laughs> or mine. Enough already. This way. Right. <laughs> what do you mean, this way? Which way? What way? You're everywhere. <laughs> oh, sorry. Straight ahead. Sorry. Go on to the power center, I'll cover you. You think you can handle both of them yourself? Certainly. As a human, you become nervous. As a plant, I remain calm and cool, even in battle. Yes, but as a plant, you can never understand the human element so crucial in battle. True, Commander, but as... I just forget it! I'll go to the power center. You cover me. Exactly my original thesis, Commander. <laughs> The number is 887-942-605-143-79-L9168. Is that galaxy to galaxy or species to species? Species to species. Thank you. Just one moment, please. <laughs> Betty. What is it, Betty? We're on hold. <laughs> I could get you to the power center. Aren't I something else? I'm just wild about me to think that you almost doubted me. What was that? Whatever you do, Quark, don't look down. Oh, my galaxy. I told you not to look down. <laughs> now, what do I do? Blow it up. Blow it up with what? Didn't you bring the UTE bomb? What UTE bomb? I told you about the UTE bomb. You never mentioned the UTE bomb. I specifically told you. You did not. Did so. You did not. Did so. When? 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 I, I... Uh, well, I don't have any UTE bomb, so what am I supposed to do? The God for that God. <laughs> did I take care of that God? Huh? Huh? I can't see. You gotta trust me now, Paul. One is evacuated. We've lost all telemetry with Quark, and the Gorgon Doomsday ship is closing in on us. I'm afraid we might as well give up. Not so fast, Palindrome. We still have Quark. Uh, that's what I mean, sir. We might as well give up. Easy. Uh huh. That's it. Now you're almost there. Now just keep going. Good. Good. Now, a little to your left. No, no, I meant right. I can't see you, no. I meant right. Trust me. Why should I trust you? You're always wrong. Because I am the source. The source of what? 
I can't see. I'm standing on this light bridge. There's a thing down there that wants to eat my head. I don't think I need any more of your help. You quit up. I'm not exactly in a position to attack. I've lost my crew, and thanks to you, I don't have a UTE bomb to blow up the power center. The UTE bomb was your fault. You never mentioned a UTE bomb. I specifically remember telling you. Forget the bomb. Just get me off this bridge. <laughs> you want to know why you almost fell off before? Yeah, because you told me to go left when you really meant right. No. Why? Because you didn't really believe in me. You almost believed, but your heart flinched for an instant. I must put your faith to a test. A test? I don't want a test. If you really believe, your feet will move along one after another until they reach safety. Oh. If you do not believe, that thing will eat your head. <laughs> Source! I will not say another word. Source! Source? I believe. You really believe. Place you under a heat ray with no water. You'll soon talk and tell us where the source is. I am worried. I have never been destroyed before. Does this thing work? I love to work. Take me home with you. I cook, I clean, I tell earthy stories. This should do it. I'll make it quick. Quick, where's the fire? I am not in a rush. Now hold still. I am willing to grovel. Say your last words. I'd like to say I'm sorry to Commander Quark. He built me with his own hand. In order to save my own neck, I told on him and probably got him killed. I deserve to be destroyed. I'm all yours. Oh, are you all right? I'm sorry. Well, I'm not that sorry. See ya, sucker. Betty, we've got to get off hold. I know I'm it, sorry. Betty. Perma One is busy now. Please stay on hold. For your enjoyment, we will show a short film about trout fishing on Pluto. Thank you. In early Plutonian spring, the warm red runoff from the Beldon mountain range... Betty, look! ...often spawn trout. Yes? In case there's any trouble, pretend like we don't know each other. But Betty, I'm your clone. We're identical in every way. Getting Talking for language. Water. This is Ariel, Tarbahera, Mucho, Paraganer, Mucho Dinero. Are you two together? No! <laughs> okay, Vegeton. We want to know where the source is. Talk. You don't have much time. Time, of course, is relative. I don't believe him. <laughs> What's true? What is time? Do we exist? Are there good times? Are there bad times? This, I would say, is a bad time. What is death? Do we die? Will you shut up? Quark, draw your gamma gun. I know I shouldn't ask this, but why? We've got to save Vicus. He's being held inside this room. Where? Over there. Good. That's it. That a boy. Quickly. Go on! You want me to barge into this room, gamma gun blasting, even though I can't see? I'm hot. I can feel it. Trust me. <laughs> it's impossible. If you believe in me, if you really believe... Don't move or I'll disintegrate you. A little more to the right. I mean left! Now, raise your arms quick. Sir, their arms are raised. I know that. <laughs> now, untie Ficus. I said untie him. Sir, I am untied. I know that. Ficus, take this and cover them. I said cover them. Sir, I am covering them. I know that. You believe. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Sir, Perma-1 is completely evacuated. The 
High Gorgon ship will be in range of us within an hour. Sir, I love Permo One. I was born here. I know every square inch of the space station by heart. Sir, I say we split. Split? Yes, yes. I've got a ship just loaded to the brim with the proper stimulating companions and ambrosia. We can sail away to some far-off galaxy. I'll hear no more of this talk. Face it, the end of the United Galaxy is here. I don't want to be captured. Quark will come through. Quark? Well, I mean, you've made some bad decisions in the past. Palindrome, do you know what you're saying? But sending Quark on this mission. Palindrome, I order you. You order me. Your troops are gone. Your ships are in retreat. We're equal. You and I equal? I order you, Palindrome, to stop talking. And if I don't listen to you, what can you do about it? Bite me? <laughs> I'm incredible. I was just a little rusty before. Pick up the pace a little, Quark. I'm going as fast as I can. Trust me, trust me. Sorry, I just had a thought. What if we converted some crystalline lots you see in Gristatones by elongating an automatic nimbus? <laughs> I have two questions. First of all, why do you think about things like that? And secondly, what does that mean? Because <laughs> normally the crystalline lots you see in Gristatones are activated by a positive arc. But if the arc were negated, it's only logical that a vast combustion would be the result. Star note, it is only 20 minutes since my rescue of Ficus. A feeling of regret is beginning to set in. Ficus is right. Instead of going back to the ship, we can make a bomb. I know where to get the parts. What was that? We've run into an ambush. Oh, source, it's not my fault. I was talking to you guys. Ficus, in simple words, what's your appraisal of the situation? Hopeless, sir. You threw my concentration off. I was doing great. I've had it with you. Sir, I can't hold him off much longer. I can't believe I'm doing this. I must have my wires crossed. Geronimo. What's happening? Andy charged into the Gorgons and drove them back. You charged into the Gorgons, Andy? I felt terrible. I told on you. I thought I got you killed. Well, it's all part of growing up. I think I'm having a warm moment with a robot. <laughs> Soon the Gorgons will be coming back. I suggest that we hide in an air vent I saw earlier. You mean you don't know each other? No! We just met when I got in line. See, a slobber dog. Come on, I'm in a hurry. I was getting hot. If I just hadn't made me think about making the bomb. I don't want to hear it. I don't believe in you. Did I ever tell you about the time I charged into ten gorgons? Andy, you were great. I'm a hero. I'm also a fool. Sir, look. I guess I can't see. The source appears to be fading, sir. He's our only means of getting the parts to make the bomb and locate the power center. You can't let him die. He doesn't believe in me. Source, I I'm sorry. Uh, I got angry, but I believe in you. No, you don't. He's fading fast, sir. Source, you got me into this. You can't die. I've no reason to live. You don't really believe in me. I believe in you. No, you don't. And neither does Ficus, and neither does Andy. Did I ever tell you about the time I charged into 20 Gorgons? He's almost gone, sir. Source, what can we do to help you regain your will to live? Maybe. Well, just maybe. If everyone really believed in me, I could live. Try cheering for me. <laughs> You want us to cheer for you? Nothing fancy, just a simple cheer, like we want the sauce. <laughs> Vicus, Andy, we're going to cheer. We want the sauce. <laughs> we want the sauce. We want the sauce. You don't really mean it. More feeling. We want the sauce. We. We want the sword. We, we want the sword. We, we want the sword. Don't worry about Quark. The source will take care of him. He's coming alive, sir. Cheer harder. We, we want the sword. The source. We, we want, want the sword. He's alive, sir. I am the sword. I can't see! 
Ficus, are you sure this bomb will work? The conduction would appear to be regular. There is, however, the possibility that the original hypothesis of negating the crystalline lotnicium gristletones will prove to be erroneous. I'm sorry I asked. I mean, with just a little encouragement, I've restored your sight, I've found the parts to make a bomb, and led you to the power center. It gives me goosebumps just to think how wonderful I am. Did I ever tell you about the time I charged 57 dreaded gorgons? It wasn't bad, Andy. Quiet! You'll get us caught. Sir, it's ready. What should I set the timer on? Uh, give it an hour. Nah, 20 minutes is plenty. Trust me, trust me. Set it for half an hour. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Back to the ship. I'm really something, aren't I? I don't mean to put down everything. You've done some good things. Palindrome, you're giving me such a headache. <laughs> Who is it? Who do you think it is? Gorgon. So, I finally meet the incredible head. Gorgon, I'm warning you. Oh, now he's warning him. G Gorgon the head is not himself. On behalf of the entire staff, we'd like to welcome you to Perma One. Silence! Anything you say. Surrender or die, head. I would rather die than live under your rule. Speak for yourself. As you wish, head. As you wish. The source will take care of you, Gorgon. This source? <laughs> Oh, you were beautiful. The man's scared to death. He's shivering in his boots. I would rather die than live under your rule. Let's see what some of your loving citizens think about that. Betty, we've gotten through. Betty? Quark no escaparado. No entregar. What? Speak English. The Gorgons will hear us. Keep them busy. The heel on my boot is loose. <laughs> Do not surrender. I repeat, do not surrender. Quark has gotten through? So, Palindrome, you and I are equal? Oh, sir, you don't really think I meant that. Personally, sir, it's been a tremendous honor working under such a wise and understanding head. I was a fool to send Quark? Oh, such wisdom, such brilliance, sir. I love my job to err as human, to forgive divine. And if I don't forgive you? What are you going to do about it? Bite me? Exactly my feeling, sir. You took the words right off the tip of my tongue. Quiet, palindrome. Yes. <laughs> oh, my galaxy. <laughs> Almost given up hope. Come on, we have to hurry. The ship is going to explode in 17 minutes. Where's Gene? We thought he was with you. We checked everywhere. Uh, logically, Gene would probably go back to the ship. On the other hand, Gene is very thick. He could be anywhere. Back to the ship. Those sissies from the United Galaxy sure folded up quick. Just ignore them. Yeah, I thought they'd fight. Keep going. Nah, they don't have a stomach for fighting. Don't do it. Think they'll let us board Perma One? They'd better. I want to get a souvenir. Maybe one of those ugly heads. Do it! Purple one lives! Betty, prepare us to get out of here. We're waiting for Gene. There's no reason to panic, sir. We've still got 12 minutes. Let's panic. Let's get out of here. Source, why did you make me set the timer on half an hour? If you believe, if you really believe, Here. If I'm not back in four minutes, you blast off, and that's an order, sir. Ficus, don't argue! I'm not. Does that four minutes begin now, or has it been running concurrently with our conversation? Ficus, get on the ship now! Drop him! Don't move! Gene, you all right? Let's go. The garbage man! That's right, Gorgon. How'd you get through? I'm the sauce leading you! Believe me, it wasn't easy. Ah! Oh, God, 200 years ago, your great-great-great-grandfather didn't want me. He said a lot of cruel things. Now I'll have my revenge. No! Because of me, your doomsday ship will blow up in eight minutes. No! 
talk. This is your moment of truth. If you believe in me, really believe, you will win this fight. I'd rather have a weapon. You don't need a weapon. Believe with all your heart, and you will defeat Gorgon. The only thing I believe in is ducking. <laughs> You can't touch me, can you, Gorgon? You can touch me, stop going you! I did it! I defeated Gorgon! I'm unbelievable! You defeated Gorgon? What about me? You weren't bad, but I was incredible. You only won because you really believed in me. I feel terribly faint. Get on the ship. <laughs> It's an exciting moment, isn't it, Commander? Yes, Ficus. I thought so. You're the fabulous, Eddie. You're the biggest hero in the history of the United Galaxy. I do my job. In my humble opinion, we owe a great deal of thanks to me. Let's hear it for me. Thank you very much. Gorgon, this is Gorgon. Gorgon? That's impossible. I escaped on my private space shuttle. Mark my words. I personally hold you responsible for destroying my ship. There was nothing personal. You were trying to take over the universe. You have to expect people to try to stop you. I'm going to get you. Oh. I will follow you to the ends of the universe. There is no place that you can hide. I will stop at nothing. Nothing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Star note. Oh, God! <laughs> I never lost my face. Thank you, Palindrome. I just had to let you know that. I appreciate it, Palindrome. You've got a fan. Does this mean I might be promoted out of garbage? Don't be greedy, Quark. I saved the United Galaxy. Quark, and I mean this sincerely, a few more missions like this and I might just talk to the head. You're beautiful, Quark. A few more missions like this? <laughs> Quark, what do you want to do now? Source, it's time to go back into the orb. Back into the orb? I was just getting hot. Sorry. You've got to go back in the orb. I don't want to go back into the orb. Last time it was 200 years. You can't always do everything you want. I don't want to go back into the orb. Didn't we have fun? Yes, we did. But it's time. You were the one who forgot the bomb. Source, don't go out like this. Go out strong and brave. Be the hero you really are. You think so? Yes. You don't want people saying you were afraid to go back in the orb, do you? No, I guess not. We were a great team, weren't we, Quark? We certainly were. Will you call on me again? Trust me. Trust me. Goodbye, Quark. I love you. And remember, I am the source. Quark, in recognition of your good work, loyalty, and perseverance, I hereby promote you to commander of your own starship. My own starship? What I've always dreamed of. Ah, uh, sir, much of the credit for my good work really belongs to my crew. I assume my crew is promoted with me. Quark, your crew will remain aboard the garbage ship. Sir, if my crew doesn't come with me, I'd rather not be promoted. Very well. The galaxy ad infinitum. Quark, that was the noblest thing I've ever heard. Also the dumbest. I didn't think you'd say very well. You don't say very well. You say sure. Take your crew with you. No, no, no. You'd say that. The head would say very well. That'll be all, Quark. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe someone would say, bring your crew later. But nobody would say, very well. Maybe, maybe I should have said, yes. Then discuss the crew. But you, you, can't, you can't just figure, very well. 